Hey everybody, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. So I wanted to say hello, show my face. You probably, if you've been on this channel before, you might have heard me speaking, but you don't know who I am. So welcome, great to have you on board. If you're returning, brilliant. If you're first time, even better. Remember to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. It'd be really appreciated. So today we're going to talk about uh, tkinter and the purpose of tkinter is to create a graphical GUI within Python. So if you want to run a data analytics project with a Windows type interface, tkinter is one of the options. Uh, so I'm going to do this video here now and then obviously I have some additional information on our link that will be in the video to our blog posts. So let's get started. So I've got this logic here in front of us. I'm actually going to run this and show you the output. So this is our objective here. Okay, so essentially this is an introductory video. And the purpose of this is to show you how to create this window. And there's a number of different links. And we actually have incorporated a icon in there from the website dataanalyticsireland.ie. So to start off, we have uh, imported here um, tkinter and we've imported web browser and two of them are to allow no tkinter is mainly for this screen here and the web browser is obviously for the functionality to allow the, any of the clicks when we click some of these buttons or these links here they are going to open up websites so to run down to the code then um we have a blog test for basically assigning it equal to the tk function which is related to tkinter um then we've got blog test geometry which is basically the, the size length and width and then the title hello so that's pretty straightforward we've got two functions here called go to youtube and go to website these would be called now in a second but basically essentially they are when they're run they basically open our YouTube channel and open our website in a new window. And so then finally, well, not finally, but the next thing we're going to talk about is the label one. Um, basically, there's a label one is we are working here. So this is actually, um, this is actually what you would write to create a label on the output window. And anything you want to appear in the window, you need to put dot pack uh, uh, open close brackets at the end. Um, the same with this here button one equals button blog test click me so that's this one here uh basically the command button here to come sorry the command here is essentially telling it to go to go to youtube function and open that particular link so we'll do that now in a second um next again is just um applying a label to the this here and just giving it um, a look and a feel. So that's this particular label here. Okay. And we've basically assigned it some properties there of its fonts and size and its padding, so on and so forth. So that's what that is. Um, another thing you can do is you can load an image. And essentially, we've assigned it. So we assigned a, a variable photo to the photo image and basically told it where to go and find the image. One thing I did notice which didn't work for some reason, which I need to go investigate. If you have JPEG here, it uh, was, wor wasn't working and was throwing up errors, but when I changed the PNG, absolutely fine. So probably rule of thumb, um, unless uh, you have a specific reason, make all your uh, icons or any uh, picture files PNG. Okay, and this next line is to basically tell this label two, which is this here, to assign it to the photo. So essentially we're telling this, this label two is image is going to equal photo and dot pack again, open close bracket means show it within the window when it's run. So that's that is. And finally, we're going to create, so a bit of a, a challenge here um, to talk about very briefly. I was trying to put in a, a label, a clickable label, but I was having some trouble doing it. So I got around it by, you basically create a button and through the properties of the button, I've changed it to look like a label. So essentially I did, what I did was I removed the border here and essentially by doing put, or putting the border BD equal to zero, it essentially removes the border. So in all essence, it just looks like a clickable link, but it's actually a button. Okay. 
so that's a very very brief introduction to TK Tkinter. How you would create it? How would you add buttons to it? Make them clickable? Add icons as well. And what we're going to do now finally is show you the links working. So let's go to the first one here. Okay. So there's our website. Uh, our YouTube website. So it'd be great if you could subscribe. You'd really appreciate it. And if I was to go back here and click this, this is our website. So there you go. That's how you would basically, in a very short space of time, you would, uh, in PyCharm, use Tkinter to create, create a very basic uh, GUI to get you started. Uh, we'll be doing more posts on this because it's actually quite a useful tool to have. A lot of your work would create a nice graphical user interface that you could then release internally as part of your project work and be more easier and manageable. And any of the work you do as well, you could probably bring it into some of these screens as an output rather than put it into Excel, so on and so forth. It really depends on what you want to do. So that's the end of this video again thanks for coming along really appreciate if people could um subscribe we're also on youtube obviously we're on youtube obviously we're on twitter we're on facebook big big thumbs up please big subscribe and we'll see you soon thanks